Hello gentlemen, welcome to section 9 on organic compounds and combustion. Now in class we talked about what it meant to be organic. Now the popular use of the word implies that organic, something that is organic is totally natural or not human made. For example, organic farms don't use synthetic pesticides or fertilizers. Thus, the food that they produce is considered to be organic. Organic is all natural with no additives in it. Usually the additives are, they're referring to are pesticides and fertilizers. But when it comes to chemistry, chemists do not use the word in this way. And we'll consider a molecule organic if it came from a test tube or if it came from like a tomato plant. So what that means is if it's in nature or if it's synthesized in the laboratory, it can, they can both still be considered organic materials. Now the basis is this. Organic means based on carbon molecules. So something that's based in carbon is considered to be an organic material. Everything else that is not based in carbon is not organic or is termed inorganic. Now this applies to your laboratory in a specific way. In your laboratory, you took the peel of an orange and you squeezed it in the presence of heat. As you made observations, you saw that there were sparks. Sparks started flying. Different color flames were produced as you squeeze that peel in the fire. The reason behind this is there's a substance called ethylene gas present in the peel of your orange, lemon, or lime that you may have used. So as plants age, they release this gas called ethylene. This is its chemical formula here, C2H4 which acts as a plant hormone to begin the ripening process of a fruit. So in this investigation, you investigated the presence of this ethylene gas, which is flammable. And this, this is in the fruit of the skin. So in the fruit of your skin, or this, the skin of your fruit, excuse me, in the skin of your fruit, as you squeezed it, you released this ethylene gas. It's flammable. So there was combustion happening. Those are the sparks that you saw was the ethylene gas igniting. Now, the question for you is, is ethylene organic? Its formula is C2H4. This is its chemical structure. Two carbons double bonded. Each carbon has two hydrogens attached to it. It is based in carbon, thus it is an organic molecule. Now, ethylene belongs to a class of organic compounds called hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is a compound composed of only hydrogen and carbon. Now we'll talk about this word only here in just a moment. You'll see where there is some leeway and some flexibility. Some examples of hydrocarbons are gasoline, kerosene, candle wax, propane, natural gas. Many of these hydrocarbons are combustible materials. Now different hydrocarbons have different structures. So we're going to take a moment to talk about the structure of hydrocarbons. So there are different types here. The first type we'll talk about are alkanes. A-L-K-A-N-E-S. Alkanes. These are hydrocarbons with all single bonds. So the carbons to hydrogens are all single bonded. Alkenes are hydrocarbons that have at least one double bond. The next type of structure, alkynes. Hydrocarbons with at least one triple bond. And the last one we'll talk about is an alcohol. This is the exception to the hydrocarbon rule. These are hydrocarbons, and I put them in air quotations because by definition they're not technically hydrocarbons consisting of only hydrogens and carbons. But an alcohol is a hydrocarbon that contains an OH group. This is called an alcohol group. If you remember back to our PVA lesson, polyvinyl alcohol had this group attached to the structure. That's what made it an alcohol. So these, are, these are different types of hydrocarbon structures. Now we can name these structures more specifically using this naming system. So the naming system for hydrocarbons is based on prefixes. So the first prefix we'll talk about is meth, and then eth, and then prop. Then we'll go to but and pent. Meth means one carbon. An example would be methane. We've all heard of methane gas. We've used it in the laboratory already. F 
means two carbons. An example would be ethylene. That's the substance we're talking about now. Ethylene gas has the chemical formula of C2H4, two carbons. Prop has three carbons in its structure. An example would be propane. Everyone has barbecued on a gas grill before. The gas of choice is usually propane. The next prefix is but. But means four carbons. An example would be butane. This is the fuel in a lighter. And the last one that we'll talk about is pent. Pent refers to five carbons being in your structure. An example would be pentanol. And the all here is reference to it being an alcohol. So gentlemen, take notes on this and we'll give more examples and do more examples and problems based on hydrocarbons in class.